trying to stay about the light, about the spotlight, spotlight, club, club, and all that kind of stuff, man. Trying to hide, trying to hide, trying to, you know, trying to, you know. But it's all fake, it's all fake. Understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying? This life, this life, this game, this game. There ain't no love in it. It don't love you back. Love you back. I feel you, hey. Feel you, hey. I do, man. I do, man. But see, man. See, man. A nigga like me, man. Like me, man. I love the game. Love the game. I love the hustle. Love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, you know, niggas, you know, like Bird, Magic, or something. Yeah, you know, a nigga got dope. A nigga could leave the league. Leave the league. But if I leave, if I leave. Fans still gonna love me, man. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's our pocket and Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. What's going on with y'all today, man? It's a happy Monday right now. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling good. I got a lot of things that I want to tell y'all about my player in general. Everybody already knows that the NBA lockout seems to be over. It seems like they have came to an agreement, and all they got to do is, you know, come to a vote on it. I spoke about that in my last video, so I'm not going to trouble you guys too much on about that. But what I do want to talk to you all about is my new my player that I want to create. Yes, I said I want to create a new my player. And the reason for this is because it seems like my my player is going to be deleted um, or, you know, just put onto another PS3 account that I have and not even touched anymore. What I'm thinking is I want to create a new my player, but I don't want to create another point guard. I'm thinking about bringing one of my small forwards back. Um, I'm thinking about a 6'9 athletic small forward or a 6'7 scoring small forward. Um, I want you guys to, you know, give a vote on that. I will be reading all the comments below. Uh, please just leave athletic or score. You know, whichever you guys choose, I might bring them back. Well, it's not even a might. It's a definite because once the rosters come in um, a couple patches, I will create that new my player and I will be using him frequently. The thing is, um, with the point guard, you guys, I have made it, um, I think, to the All-Star Weekend, but I haven't played it because a couple people said that it was glitched out and you couldn't play the rookie sophomore game and all of that. So what I'm doing is I'm actually waiting on that. Now, in this gameplay, I think I was an 83 overall before I reached 84. So I was doing pretty good, you know, getting good jump shots. You know, my shots was all good and everything like that. But also, to tell you the truth, um i do have to come out with an attribute video for this guy because a lot of y'all been asking your hawks halftime at phillips arena and a close one hello i'm damon bruce and welcome to the hp halftime show the 76ers playing well up to the break they find themselves sitting in fourth place in the conference paul george really playing effortlessly he's got six points and a great field goal percentage too making his shots count a scrappy effort by atlanta a gritty hard-nosed effort they're hungry for the win they're making their own luck getting it done early kirk heinrich after two he's got six points and he's taking care of business on the defensive end of the floor too a lot of offense here for the first half for these two leading their teams in scoring some games going on earlier on let's check them out from around the league The Pacers in Indianapolis losing to the Clippers. Not the performance that will make their coach happy. Darren Collison, their leading scorer. In one of the other games that went final today, the Lakers grabbed the win against the Wizards in Washington. So far after dropping four in a row, that win was definitely welcome. Their top scorer was Kobe Bryant. And now here's what's going on in the rest of the association. New Jersey up on top against the Knicks in New York. No question as to who will come away with that win. And that's it for us here at 2K Sports Studios. Hope to see you back next time. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. All right, you guys, back to the regular uh, program at hand. Um, basically, I was talking about coming out with an attribute video, and I will do that. That will be my next video for NBA 2K12, my player. So look out for that, man. I'm going to be dropping attributes. I'm going to do maybe a little scrimmage, and I might even give you a little bit of gameplay. I'm really not sure. I, ha I still have a lot of games. I have one against the Heat. I have some against the Celtics, but I'm really not sure what to use. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still contemplating on that. Also, uh, one big thing. 
about the whole small forward situation. I will be making that my player, but the thing is, guys, I don't want to play a game that is still unplayable. Um, I want to actually make the small forward, but I want to wait until a new patch comes out. Because they said they're going to make a hardcore patch, but we really don't know when that's coming out. And when they give us the, the uh, roster updates, I don't want to play with the rookies and not even, you know, have a chance against them. Even though I'm doing great and my player, don't get me wrong, but I average way too many turnovers and it's unrealistic, you know. Um, the the patch that they gave us the 103 patch it was pretty good you know I could play with that you know the three point shooting isn't that bad um, it's not you know too cheese but I still need something a little bit better man I still need a better feel for the game also the DLC that's supposedly coming out I, oh my god I don't even know why I did an intentional foul that was a I think I was trying to press start <laughs> I don't know what I was doing right there but yeah man um, I just I can't play this game if it's too unrealistic so until then i'm gonna just you know make the mob player and just sit on it you know i'm gonna make a creation video i may even do the rookie showcase and do the draft just to let you guys know where i'll be at where i want to get traded to you already know i want to go to the sixers it's it's inevitable like i want to go to the sixers and as a small forward if the trade whole my player trade thing is patched up obviously it'll be me and iggy and drew holiday you know, Thaddeus Young, I'm sorry, you know, I'm going to end up having to take that spot, but it is what it is. Now, um, one thing that I would do want to talk to you guys about is the gameplay. This game was very, very competitive. The thing about it was, it looked like I was doing pretty good in the beginning, but it seems like Joe Johnson and his homeboys just, they were trying to catch up so badly. And I was trying to stop it by playing intense defense, but at the same time, it was epic fail after epic fail. Because... The thing was, my team defense was horrible. You know, having Nocioni for the three-point shots is pretty good, you know, in clutch. But having him as a defensive player is kind of bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not really much I could do. We were going back and forth and back and forth. At the end of the game, it really came down to the last shot. Literally, like, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to shoot and start scoring more, but I wanted to make my stats more realistic. Because having 50 points a game to win games... It's horrible, man, I, and I hate doing it because I already know that people look at me like, oh, well, this guy, he's, he's, he's playing on these modes, and he's just doing all this stuff, and he doesn't trust his teammates. It's unrealistic. Why is he playing the game? Uh, because, man, you know, somebody got to do it, <laughs> and I like playing 2K to an extent. You know, I, I, I love playing the game. Now, as, I, as I'm about to put these da this dagger in him, man, it's, it's the end of the game. We won it out. Now, the reason I say it came down to the last shot is because the previous play before that, they were actually close. And it's not really much that, you know, I could have done, but it is what it is. Um, I know I'm rambling, but <laughs> that's the end of the game. We're about to get into the uh, player of the game and post-conference. Let's get to it, man. Yo, I'm, I'm, am I talking to myself? Am I, I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo now. I'm losing it. I'm talking to myself. That's right. <laughs>
Congrats on getting a win in a really close game. How much does a game like that change the way you play in the closing moments, knowing that the outcome is hanging in the balance? Listen, to tell you the truth, I ain't worried about that, bro. I had a fucking triple-double. Come on, man. I had a triple-double. Me and my team, we doing our thing right now, man. Fourth in the conference. Let's get it. I think it pushes me to a whole nother level, man. To paraphrase my boy Steven Jackson, I thrive under pressure. That's when I'm at my best, and that's when I think the true superstars stand out. My teammates even stepped it up tonight, and it was a big win for us in a game that could have gone either way. Hopefully that means some of my qualities are starting to rub off on them a little bit. If so, pressure ain't going to stand a chance against us from here on out. Dang, let's take a moment of silence for that, <laughs> for that reply right there, man. All thumbs up over here. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Peace.